Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming. My cold is still kind of here, unfortunately, but we do have our second premium gold Return of the Bling box for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now. So if you haven't seen the previous video, be sure to check the link in the description. That one should be live because it has happened already in the past. And then if you're interested in seeing further openings of this set on my channel, you can click the description uh, or the link in the description box. Once those are out, you'll see them there as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and open all these mini packs up for you guys, or these boxes, just to get them out of the way. All right, so we are back with these five boxes for you guys. Whoa, it's very difficult to see with this camera, but we're going to go ahead and open these up one at a time. And again, this is the US version, so we are going to have individual mini packs. They are the same configuration overall of two secret rares and three gold rares per pack, thus totaling the six secrets and the nine golds. So we start off with Cat Shark, the Dragocytos, Herald of Perfection, Trap Tricks Nepenthes, and Charge of the Light Brigade. And just like before, I'm just going to put these here gold secrets and then golds. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick recap of this box opening at the end, and at the very end of the entire series I'm going to do a recap of everything. So we have Rose Paladin, No Thumb, My Body is a Shield, Downard Magician, and Exchange of the Spirit, one of the new errated forbidden cards. So now it reads, you will pay a thousand, and uh, if both players have 15 or more cards in their graveyards, you can swap the cards in the decks with their graveyard zones, flip them, reshuffle their decks, um, and you can only activate one of these things per duel. So this way you can't just you know flip the deck when you have 15 and your opponent has zero and just deck them out, which was a cheap way to use it back in the day. We have Frozen Lady Justice, Isolde, Naturia Beast, Exodia's Head, and Astral Force. So really cool pack right there at the end. First pack has, ooh, number 95, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon, Frozen Lady Justice, Five-Headed Dragon, Lavalval Chain, and Charge of the Light Brigade. So that was a really awesome pack right there, Dark Matter and Chain. Looks like we have No Thung the Starlight, Mast Hero Anki, Elemental Hero Prisma, Grand Spellbook Tower, and Raigeki. Another awesome pack right there. Let's see if we can finish this third one with a bang and get this. Well, this one doesn't want to open. Let's try the other side. Got it. So we have a boatman and a junk giant, smashing ground, foolish burial, and a ceasefire. So a little bit of a flop at the end, but definitely an amazing pack. On to round three. So the first pack contains back jack. Dragocytos, Doom Caliber Knight, Trap Tricks Mermilio, and Rega Magic Astral Force. I like in the Trap Tricks in here, I'm going to go ahead and do a deck profile very soon. Uh, once I have that deck polished up for this format, have tested it a little more, you know, just for fun. We have Pero Pero Serperus, Mastero Anki, Nichiria Barkion, Exchange of the Spirit, and Trap Tricks Dianea. I actually remember um, Exchange of the Spirit I used in an Exodia deck back in the day, just for fun. Basically, you would use um, exchange of the spirit to swap all your Exodia cards back into your grave from your deck so you could use backup soldier and fetch three and win because this was back in like 2005 you know back when things were really slow right when the forbidden list had hit and you know that some things were just taken out of the game uh, junk giant frozen lady justice crush card virus awesome pull temple of the kings and trap tricks attracts so we're gonna go ahead and look at these two Beautiful, eroded cards right here. So first, Crush Card Virus. It says, you tribute a dark monster with a thousand or less attacks. So it's the same requirements as before, but your opponent takes no damage until the end of the next turn. So for one turn cycle, you can't hurt him. 
You can then look at your opponent's hand at all monsters they control and destroy monsters among them with 1,500 or more attack. And then, instead of the three-turn lingering effect that this thing used to have, your opponent gets to choose from their deck three monsters that have 1,500 or more attack and send them to the graveyard, and they are destroyed. So, basically, uh, it'll help Light Sworns get more names in the grave, but, you know, not every deck will necessarily benefit from that, but do watch out. It can backfire just slightly, but amazing card nonetheless. And then Temple of the Kings, this thing uh, was actually forbidden right when the Merrick deck came out with this more like a promo than anything. But it says now you can activate one trap card the turn it is set. You can't just play an entire deck of traps from your hand. Uh, and then you can send this card with the Mystical Beast of Circuit in your monster card zone and this card you control to the graveyard to special summon from your hand or deck. Or one fusion monster from your extra deck. So thing they change is you can't summon extra deck like Xyz or Synchro monsters, which the previous version would have let you do. Then you can only activate each of these abilities once per turn. So actually you can activate that trap card once per turn. Pack four. Will this be another awesome one? We already have an Obsidian Hawkjo. We have Chris the Krakadon. Smashing Ground, Sinister Serpent, another errated card, and a Madolshe Queen, Tiaramisu. So, Sinister Serpent is basically the same, only difference is, uh, during your standby phase, if this card exists in your grave, you can add it to your hand, but then, if you activate this effect during your opponent's next end phase, it will be banished. Or a copy of Sinister Serpent, rather, will be banished from your graveyard. You can only activate this effect of Sinister Serpent once per turn. So the whole idea is, if it's in your graveyard, you can go and fetch it to your hand. But if you immediately use it for a discard outlet, it will be sent to your opponent's graveyard, where it is eligible to be banished. To avoid that, you would have to wait one turn, then you can discard it. And then he'll come back, wait a turn, discard it, and so on. So puts a little bit of a, of a cooldown period on Sinister Serpent's effect to avoid it being abused. We're starting off with a greedy Saramea. We have Stardust Respark, Gores, Metion, and another Exchange of the Spirit. At least Gores is at three now, so that's a pretty cool reprint. Looks like we have a Panaki, the Waxing Moon, Parallel Twister, Dark Hole, Downward Magician, and an Advanced Ritual Art. Last one here. We have Santa Claus, number 14, Greedy Saramea, Five-Headed Dragon, Chain Disappearance, and the Right Arm. The second one here, we have another King Jack, Pero Pero Serperus, Gores, Rank Up Magic, Baryon's Force, and a Silent Honor Arc, which looks awesome in gold. And the last pack for this box... We have a Soul Day Bell of the Underworld, Rose Lover, My Body as a Shield, Metion, and Rank Up Magic Numeron Force. So I'll be right back with a recap of just this box. All right, so for the recap, everything is in set order. So we have Junk Giant, two of those, two Jacks, one Rose Lover, one Paladin, one Boatman, one Chris, and one Panaki, two Pero Pero, two is Soul Day. Two Anki, uh, one Hawk Joe, two Nothung, two Dragositis, one ninety five, Cat Shark, Greedy Saramea, two of those, three Frozen Lady Justice, one Parallel Twister, one Respark, one Santa Claus, one Right Arm and one Head, one Sinister Serpent, one Metion, one Atrax, one Mermilio, and one Nepenthes, one uh, another Metion. I didn't order this correctly, I guess, yeah. Two Metions, there. We have Dianea. One Chain, one Tiaramisu, one Arc, two Magicians, one Raigeki, one Advanced Ritual Art, one Foolish Burial, two Charge of the Light Brigade, Temple of the Kings, Grand Spellbook Tower, Variance Force, Numeron Force, Astral Force times two, Ceasefire, Chain Disappearance, three Exchange of the Spirit, one Crush Card Virus, a Prisma, My Body is a Shield times two, Smashing Ground times two, Doom Caliber Knight, the Mythic Five-Headed Dragon, 
2, Gore is the Emissary of Darkness, a Herald of Perfection, a Beast in a Barkeon, and a Dark Hole. So be sure to check out the description box where you can see the link to the previous video, which already exists, and the link to the next video, which should exist pretty soon. Again, there are three more box openings after this, so be sure to check all those out. At the very end, I'll do a total tally of all five of these boxes, which should be about half a case, I believe. I think there are ten of these display boxes per case. Not sure exactly, but nonetheless, we're going to go through and review all that for you guys. And a binder with all of this stuff should be arriving by next weekend. So just be a little patient for that, and you'll be able to get what you want at that time. So thanks, guys. This is JD Gaming, and I'll see you guys with the next video.